These videos are intended to be used to complement the instruction of this subject by classroom teachers as a teaching aid, by independent learners as a review tool to enhance and improve the understanding of these topics, resulting in improved performance in CSEC examinations. In deep water, the height of one tsunami wave could be about one meter, but the wavelength may be as much as 500 kilometers. Tsunami have long wavelengths. In shallower water, the shape of the shore compresses the wave, decreasing its wavelength and increasing its amplitude. Because the wave height of a tsunami is so low in open ocean, tsunamis cannot be felt by people on board ships. A tsunami could have a frequency of about one hour and a speed of 890 kilometers an hour. That is as fast as a jet plane. A tsunami has a large amount of energy and it moves large volumes of water to great heights. This occurs because the wavelength is very large, so the wave moves large bodies of water. All the energy in that mass of water is released on the seashore and causes serious damage to property and loss of lives. Near the shore, the height of the tidal wave is greatly increased. And as the speed decreases, waves reaching the shore can be as high as 40 kilometers or more. A massive subduction earthquake occurred on December 26, 2004. Its center was under the Indian Ocean off the coast of Sumatra, where two plates met in a subduction zone. The earthquake measured 9.1 on the moment magnitude scale. Although the quake was very destructive on land, it produced a tsunami that was even more destructive. This Boxing Day tsunami destroyed millions of dollars worth of property and killed nearly 200,000 people in 14 countries. During convergent and transform plate boundary action, the place where the compression and slippage of the rock occurred is called the epicenter of the earthquake. This point is called the focus and seismic waves radiate or spread out in all directions from this center. Let us look at some ideas which tells us a little more about the waves produced by an earthquake. Not all earthquakes happen along plate boundaries under the sea, but happen in the middle of the continent and therefore not all earthquakes produce tsunamis. Sometimes there are boundaries deep underground. Sometimes there are ancient fault zones deep in the Earth's crust and these become buried under many layers of sediments and rock. Example, Missouri, USA, 1811 and 1812. Earthquakes generally release two types of waves. These are body waves, which move toward the Earth's interior, and surface waves, which travel on the surface. Each type of wave travels at different speeds and causes different movements in the Earth's lithosphere.